Hello Aries and welcome to your yearly tarot reading for 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for your patience and your support always with me. So let's start right away. I'm going to pick one card to see the energy following you throughout the year. This is going to be your anchor card, a card that you can, you know, put on your altar if you have one. Think about it, meditate on it, and uh, it will follow you throughout the year. Okay, fabulous. We have the Ace of Sword for you. So, listen, this year is going to feel like a brand new beginning. You're going to be totally shocked with how everything turns out to be. So, you could be this year starting something big and brand new a new job moving somewhere new being in a new relationship there is a lot of new energy and it feels so good ace of swords is really really powerful and i feel like you're taking a leap definitely i connect this energy with the fool we just started aquarius season as i do this reading so this is like Okay, a lot of ideas, a lot of things are preparing right now. I like that. I'm so excited to see this card for you as general energy. So let's start. Let's dive right in for you, Aries. Are you serious? Listen, when I'm talking <laughs> new beginning, Ace of Wands, this is the green light of the tarot. This is like the biggest yes you can have in the tarot. Definitely one of my favorite cards. So not only, I was right, my intuition was right. I feel like there's not just one new beginning. There's this thing, this goal that you have that you're about to reach. And I think that it all started from a simple idea, a simple conversation. And this is going to be life-changing for you. And also bring you a lot of creative, creative energy. I don't know if you're an artist, if you've been thinking about maybe putting your art out there, but there's definitely something that you do that is special to you, unique to you. And I feel like this year you could be known for doing that. We'll see what comes out, but two aces? This is a lucky year. This is a good year. Chariot. Okay. Moving forward. Okay. Um, with the chariot, there's this feeling of your intuition guided you towards that. And maybe you don't even want to, you know, believe that. You definitely worked hard for something, but there's something a little magical, like a lot of little synchronicities, a lot of things that the universe put on your path for you to get there. It feels really good. Balancing yourself, listening to your intuition and getting vulnerable with the chariot um so something brings a lot of joy within you right now i think you're really proud of yourself and you have a lot of reasons to be because you're about to accomplish something huge if you have no idea what i'm talking about right now you're going to be definitely surprised because i feel like fast movements and fast change are coming in page of cups so if you've been waiting on an answer for a new job, for a house, for whatever it is, the answer is yes. And you're going to have someone sending you an email, reaching out, telling you that yes, what you wanted, you're getting it. With the Page of Cups also, there's always this calling to learn how to play and not take yourself too seriously. We have the Ten of Swords. You're leaving a lot behind. You're leaving a lot of bullshit behind, my love. I feel like you could have been really uncomfortable in a situation, and it's, it's finally about to be over. It could be a relationship. It could be, again, where you live, something about work, your stability. Um, you've accepted a lot. You've accepted a lot, and I think at the end of the day, you felt a little depleted, a little exhausted. Um, and with the King of Wands, listen, I knew a king would come out uh, in the beginning of this reading because, like I said, you're bringing something out of you. I feel like this year could be the year where you 
where people get to know you as an artist. People get to know you as this creative person. There's definitely something that wants to come out of you, some type of talent that you have. Maybe you've been pushing it aside, you know, busy working on your nine to five, busy making things happen for you. Maybe you were busy trying to satisfy people around you, your family, the people who raised you, your partner, your boss. This year, you're doing things from a place of heart. It feels good. It feels like you're finding your place in the world. I, I definitely like uh, this reading already. Tell me more for Aries. Tell me more for Aries. Yeah, You're, this is a year of creation for you. A year of brand new beginning. We have magician, number one, ace, ace here. Ten of swords, which lead to a new beginning. What is this? This is like a new, intense and amazing chapter in your life. I don't know if you are still in that period of, I hope I'm going to get this thing that I want. You can literally calm down. You can trust what the universe is bringing your way because the answer is yes, you're getting it. Um, I feel like a lot of you already know what this thing is, what this change is. You're really excited. Uh, I have this feeling of someone being a little stressed because it's such a big change happening for you. Yeah, with the two of wands, you could be in a period of waiting right now. Just like the in-between period of, I'm finally about to get this thing that I want and it's so hard not to be anxious and not think about it all the time. It's because you're passionate. It's because, again, it's from the heart. It's something that makes you feel proud, happy. Um, and being so excited, ain't anxious about it. It kind of confirms that you're exactly where you should be. Um, I like that. I'm really happy for you. I feel like this is such a powerful reading already. We have the Three of Swords and the Five of Swords in the reverse. So before this big move, before this big change, there's going to be a difficult conversation happening with the Three of Swords. Remember, the Three of Swords is a card of bravery. Uh, and I've been talking about you doing things from a place of heart. I don't see this card as negative. There's no negative card in the tarot, I believe. I do feel like it's all energy. Um, and with the Five of Swords in the reverse, you're going to get a lot of clarity about a situation that you've been feeling bad about. Feeling like you did something wrong, something that you could have regret. Um, there's this finally clarity coming in for you by having a difficult, intense conversation with someone. It could be someone from your past. It could be an old friend, an ex, a twin flame. It could be whatever. But I feel like before this new beginning, you're going to be releasing a lot. And that's why the Ten of Swords is here also. It feels like the universe is naturally going to put this on your path. Like, okay, you have to face this before getting that, okay? This is the kind of energy I'm getting here. Um, and you're facing all of this with bravery. And that's why the Three of Swords is here. This is a card of bravery. Absolutely, without a doubt. Um, how are we able to open up and get vulnerable with someone or with ourselves, you know, looking at something that we felt so uncomfortable looking at in the past. Um, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy, but you're going to stay brave in that situation. And I feel like a part of you know that this needs to be looked at before you start this new life. It feels like a new life. Literally, you could be relocating, but I don't know. There's this new life. Um, it could be a new relationship, uh, a new job, feeling like, yeah, this is the year. This is the year. And we go from the Three of Swords to the Four of Swords. So confirming that this conversation, this uncomfortable situation that will require a lot of bravery will bring you a lot of healing. There's going to be this moment where you want to not be on social media, where you don't want to be available for anyone. You just want to spend time maybe alone or with your partner and just 
Um, be quiet for a moment. The Four of Swords, of course, is a card of healing. It's a card of resting and knowing where our brain, our body, our soul need a little bit of rest, not feeling bad about it. So, yeah, there could be this situation where you have to leave uh, a friend behind. You have to leave a job behind, a situation where you feel the, you have something to grieve. You know, it's not easy to say goodbye, even if it's a new beginning and you're excited about it. There's definitely something that feels a little bit heavy. Okay, five of wands in the reverse. So, yeah, there could definitely be a situation that or a person with who you were fighting in the past. I don't know what it is exactly. Of course, it's personal to you, but this this is an energy of something that was really uncomfortable, that brought a lot of shit up, is finally going to be cleared. I like seeing fives in the reverse. To me, it's like getting much more comfortable with you, with another person, with a situation. Um... Any new beginning brings a lot of anxiety, and I feel like you could have been fighting also because of this. Uh, there's something that you wanted so bad. It created a lot of friction, maybe between you and your partner, uh, co-worker, just within yourself. But I feel like you're definitely where you should be. You're definitely on the right track. We have the world card and the seven of wands in the reverse. Listen, the world card doesn't come a lot this is the next chapter when you are in world energy you are not looking back so this is a confirmation that this is a major change major change of scenery change of um you were in the place that felt good for a while it just doesn't serve you anymore we're closing the door we're not looking back and we're starting fresh feeling liberated feeling like finally things are happening for us and again it all comes from the heart seven of wands is definitely a card of bravery fighting for what you want you are so excited for what's to come you just want to do things right you could be a little bit overwhelmed by so much change. You could be feeling like you're not worthy. You're not deserving of all this. There's going to be some inner battle happening. Five of Wands in reverse, Seven of Wands, uh, Five of Swords in reverse. There's going to be this feeling of, okay, is this the right decision? Am I doing the right thing? Am I worthy of this? Like, I can't believe this is happening for me. Um... And that's all because you're transforming. You're moving forward, you know? And sometimes the brain, you know, the ego in the brain wants stability, comfort. The ego doesn't want you to expand and have these new things and have this new life. So your brain is going to play tricks on you, definitely. We have the queen of sword. I think that a lot of obstacles that happened in your past were definitely important and you're realizing that you're realizing that you are a survivor and that you've been through a lot and you're definitely worthy of what's to come and it feels good you're choosing honesty clarity you're choosing to have these difficult conversation maybe in the past you were avoiding You've been maybe avoiding the truth in one relationship or somewhere. Um, and it took a lot from you to face this change, to embrace this change. It took a lot from you. And I hope you're giving yourself a little break. I hope you're giving yourself care and love and... Um, yeah, I feel like you should be giving yourself a little bit of care and love right now. I think you're being definitely hard on yourself. I, I like this reading. I can't stop smiling right now. And the Four of Wands is here celebrating your accomplishment. This is the 1111 card also. You're going to be noticing the signs. You're going to be feeling that you're exactly where you should be with the Four of Wands. Um, stability. 
celebration. You could be with a partner or alone. You know, it's it's not important celebrating. It can be just you. It can be with a partner. It can be with your family. But people are going to be really proud of what you accomplish. Let me take another deck, Aries. Whew. Tell me more about Aries this year. What do we need to know? What messages do we have for Aries? The star. Yeah. Did you hear me? <laughs> Take that deep breath. This is definitely a star time for you. Healing, having hope for the future, you know, being hopeful and feeling like, yeah, I did this shit. I really did that. It comes from me. Um, you should be proud of yourself. There's this feeling of, are you giving yourself the credit that you deserve for everything that you built? Because I feel it comes from nothing. I do feel like at one point in your life, you felt alone. You felt like nothing. There was a moment, I feel, in the recent past where you felt like, I'm alone. It has to come from me. I can't depend on other people to get this thing that I want, to get this new beginning. Um, it all comes from you. You worked your ass off. You worked your ass off. And now it's a time of calm. I'm hearing the word calm. I feel like this could be at the end of the year or mid-year because the beginning of the year is definitely intense. It's a little overwhelming, the change, the transition. But I feel like from mid-year to the end of the year, there's this calm, serene energy feels good. Doesn't mean that nothing's happening. I just feel like you're going to be exactly where you should be. We have the Eight of Swords and the King of Swords in the reverse. So getting out of your head, definitely transforming. I feel like this new beginning is something that you've been thinking about for a really long time. With the Eight of Swords in the reverse, you're freeing yourself from some type of situation. Freeing yourself from, you know, seeing the King of Swords in the reverse with the Eight of Swords. I'm like, have you been freeing yourself from some type of vision that you had of life? How you were raised? how your family raised you, how you were brought up, you know, with society. I think that you had some type of vision in the past of, I should be doing this this way. I should be like that. I should be this and that. And I think you're letting yourself not be so perfect. It feels good. You're letting go of these really unattainable expectations and expectations that someone put on you. I feel like it could be coming from your family or how society raised you, like I said. But there's this feeling of, you know what? I'm going to do things my own way. I'm going to do shit, follow my own rules. And at the end of the day, if my family, if this person or that person isn't happy or it's not the way that, you know, they want things to be for me, I don't care. It doesn't belong to me. It belongs to them, their opinion of my life. You're freeing yourself from something and it's something, an energy. It's something that has been making you feel a little, you know, alone, sad for a while. I don't know why I'm saying alone and sad. I just feel like there was something that was really personal to you that come, that is related to your background and you're freeing yourself from that this year. You already started the process of that. Yeah, judgment, not surprise. You've been digging deep in the darkest, most vulnerable place. Yeah, the judgment card is not easy. It's like the dirty, intense work that we have to do when we are facing our past, when we are facing how we were raised, and finally doing things for us. This is, of course, a card of being at crossroad, and you are at crossroad right now. You're definitely choosing the right direction, but there's this... You could have done it differently also. You did good, but I think that 
Um, at one point, maybe you felt like you almost lost yourself. There was this difficult period. I feel like it could be in the past two years of isolation, of darkness, feeling like, I don't know what the hell I want. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know how to please myself. I don't know how to please other people. Um, and you definitely did the work. Wow, this is some intense energy I'm feeling. Fool, four of pentacles and two of cups. You could have been healing your relationship with your body, your relationship with money, with stability. And at the end of the day, I think it's because you listened to your soul. And with the Fool and the Two of Cups, if you are single, this could definitely be a year where you open up, where you find a soulmate, find someone that you love. And if you are in a relationship, I think that this person was one of the reasons why you pushed through. They brought a lot of clarity into your life. Uh, there is definitely a soulmate energy here in this reading. And you could be celebrating something important in 2022 with that person. And with the Four of Pentacles, again, healing a real, some type of relationship, you know, with your body, with your stability. I feel like, again, you're doing things because it feels good to you, not because you want to prove anything to anyone. And it, I really, really like that. Um, hmm. Okay, let me pick. I feel like I have to use this, this big deck again and I want to pick three cards. A message from the universe for Aries in 2022. Okay, one, two, three. What do we have here for you? Temperance, Queen of Pentacles, and Four of Cups. So this year is going to be a year of, of course, finding balance, connecting with your beliefs also, being a little bit more positive when it comes to the future. I like that. You're feeling protected. You're feeling like there's a lot of beautiful things ahead, but it's not definitely, it's not necessarily, sorry, easy. You're dipping your toes into this new life, starting to trust again, starting to open up again, aligning the mind, body, soul with the temperance card. You have to be patient also. I don't usually... Um, connect, you know, uh, being patient with the temperance card. But you had to be patient to get to this new beginning. Queen of Pentacles, the card of self-care. You're listening to yourself. You're being careful with how you judge yourself, how you judge other people, how you bring love into your life. You're definitely aware of a lot of things. And also, this is about your stability, finding your home, finding your place in the world. It feels good letting yourself be nurtured opening up a little bit more when it feels good it's all in your own timing um i said it in every reading but this year is a slow year not for you really i'm gonna be honest maybe the period of waiting will feel slow uh before getting this you know this thing um, but this year is all about slow and steady wins the race, moving slowly and getting comfortable doing it. Not easy for an Aries, okay? With the Four of Cups, it's a lot about boundaries, you know? Are you able to give yourself some type of break to disconnect? Remember that you don't owe anyone anything right now. You don't need to be available for everyone all the time. So this year is going to be a lot about your boundaries, who you let in, who do you leave behind, who isn't serving you anymore, whose friendship, whose love isn't serving you anymore. Um, Four of Cups is, you know, making sure you're checking in. Am I available for this person today? Am I available to answer this email? Should I take a little time off um, and center myself, you know? A lot of beautiful things are happening in your life this year. It's going to be overwhelming. In a year from now, you'll look back and you won't believe how everything changed. You're going to be in a totally different place. 
but a beautiful, healthy, and again, I'm hearing the word calm. I don't know why I'm hearing that. It's like the calm after the storm. This is definitely the essence of this reading. Thank you for being here, Aries. I can't wait to do another reading for you. Um, if you watch till the end, I'm sending a huge hug your way. And until next time, take exquisite care of yourself. Bye, Aries.